Hi everyone, I'm back. It's Saturday, got everything settled and everything's done. And we have the updated sponsor list, which I displaced for a bit there. The noise you hear outside is my husband, who always has to do something when I'm videoing. So, uh... I think we'll just have to deal with that for a bit. Okay. Um, what I want to do. I, we're going to do a pour. And I have these colors. Because everyone's talking about pink. So I made a couple of pink shades. I have white and I have purple. So we're going to do that. But for everyone that hasn't seen a lot of videos. I am going to show you exactly my new uh, pour mix as the as it is right now so what you want to do is just put some paint in your cup and this is the uh, thicker paint something like Windsor & Newton or uh, Royal Talons or Liquitex or whatever so it's a thicker uh, sort not the um, um, the fluid acrylics now I use this this is the uh, Vallejo pouring medium the new formula you look at your paint and you add about 40% of pouring medium. Then you stir it until it's really nice and smooth. And I will show you, see, just one big consistency of pouring medium and paint. Then I add about 10% gloss medium. This also is Vallejo gloss medium. And we give it a little stir, that it's nice and smooth. Then I have a PVA, and this is a mix of PVA and 30 to 40% water. And I put in 10% of that. And that's really the whole mix. Now, um, I'm just going to make it a little smooth. And usually I stir it a little bit slower so that we don't get any air bubbles in it. And as you can see right now, it's a nice consistency, but this will never come off the stick. So that's when we start adding the water. Now you add a really little bit and then just stir everything nice and smooth. still way too thick so we give it a little bit of water and I'm talking really little bits not too much because um, you want to check that consistency over and over again and right now it is coming off the stick but it's coming off in sort of chunky chunky bits so then you add again tiny bit of water of course this depends on how much uh, paint you have in your cup because if the cups half full you'll be adding a little bit more water at a time right now it's coming off but I still see that it's coming off like little chunky things and you, we don't want that so again a little water and I'm talking really little bit amounts for this much paint really little bit amounts because we're almost at the consistency we want. Now it's coming off in a nice stream. And it was really just a tiny, tiny, like I'm talking a couple of drops. Just a little bit more. <clears throat> and it's perfect. So that's the whole way I mix my paint. So you want paint, you want the gloss medium and the pouring medium. Look at the numbers, it's 28,450, 28,460, and then you have the PVA with water. And if you buy um, the PVA and you add 30 to 40% water, it, it goes a long way because you only want 
10 to 15 percent of this 10 to 15 percent gloss medium and this is the one that you add most so and you can play around with all those um, um, measurements as long as you have those three in it it'll be pretty much the same and uh, it will react the same now about when you're stirring up your paint I'm not sure if you can see this let me get in a little bit closer see yeah see all the little bubbles that's a lot of bubbles and the thing is that uh, there's not much really that we can do about it some colors just have the tendency to bubble more than others and you'll have to just torch the uh, the painting after or the pour after it's done you really can't do much about that I'm trying to get my well that's not working okay so I'm gonna do two small ones these are 15 by 15s these are the ones that I do in the giveaway and I'm going to first without silicone I'm gonna do a pour and then uh, after that we're going to do one with silicone so you can see the difference so I'm putting in layering in the paint we're gonna take all the colors and put them in multiple times and for the people wondering uh, my husband is with one of those um, you know where you can blow the leaves away one of those things that's what he's doing so we're giving it all the colors we want and see how they're layered in the cup that's sort of what I want for this pour you can do it however you choose but I just want to see what happens when I layer it in just like this one after the other and one more of the pinky one there it goes okay now I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to pour from up here in the corner pretty and I'm going to let it run down a little bit I think that's more than enough that's kind of cool looking that is kind of cool looking Okay, now we're going to let it go over. And then I'm going to let it come down because of the stripes. So the stripes are going to get a little bit more spaced. Pulling that down a little bit. That is really pretty. And then I'm going to let it come down here. And you can see it's starting to move really slow and that's sort of a, a good thing to see because that uh, means that there is not that much paint left on the uh, canvas. So that's good. And it's going over the side here. Just going to touch that up a little bit, pull it down. And now I'm going to stop tilting because I do really like what's happening here. So I'm going to cover this and the other corner, I'm going to do that by hand. Do it really slowly because I want to sort of make sure I get those little stripes. So that it looks like one thing, one continuous thing. I'm going to tilt a little bit that it goes over this side. There it goes. Now we have everything covered. Okay, I'm really liking this one. <clears throat> I do want to add something, of course. I'm sure you were waiting for it. Glitter, it is. Okay, 
I got a whole new stash of glitter. Lots of new ones. And I think I will go for, let's see. Get them out, sorry about that. Now, there's one that I think really would fit. Look at that. It has almost the same uh, colors. It's sort of, this is the same though. But I'll just use the, uh, the little, uh, I'm gonna use the little jar. Let's see if we can just open it like that. Yes, we can. Doesn't have a seal or anything. Now, now there's another reason that we have these little stir sticks is because it's also really cool to take out a little bit of glitter and blow it across just a little bit more. That's it. We don't want too much of it because we don't want really to see much glitter all over the place, but we do want to see just a little bit of sparkle because it just makes that paint come alive just a little bit more. Now I am torching it, but that's only to get the little uh, air bubbles out. That's it. And this is what it turned into. Let's see if I can get you in a little bit closer. There it is. I like it. Okay, putting this one away. And the sparkle is really, uh, really cool because it just, you know, has a little shimmer and uh, that gives it just that little bit of special uh, touch. And right now I'm going to do two on uh, photo paper. Let me get you back in uh, full screen because uh, this might be something I want to uh, frame. So I'm going to see what happens when I pour this on. Stop. Whoops. And let's see what we can make of this. And we need a little bit more up here. And you can already see that um, the colors are sort of merging together and that's because we have put uh, too much motion in that paint then it sort of gets all as you can see in the cup it sort of all gets uh, pushed together but still it's a nice nice little pour on paper just making it a little bit bigger now I'm gonna make it come down a little bit And I want to keep the back as clean as possible. So I am going to add, of course, a little bit of glittery poo. A little bit more. That's it. Put the cap back on before we get paint in it. Now that's it. And if we were to take the frame, let's see if we can fit. Ooh, yes we can, there we go. And of course you can always add to this later because um, I'm pretty sure that if you get a really nice acrylic marker, you could do something uh, across it. But we'll just see how this dries up and I'll show you what I have in mind. Now, I think I have enough to do one more because I really would like two, two of the same ones. And I'm gonna try and 
do this in one time because oh there it goes that's nice That is really nice. Which puts it down a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty. This one's prettier. That is really pretty. So this one we're gonna also put a little bit of glitter on. Miss that one. That's it. More than enough, just to make it a little bit interesting. I did miss half of it though, but that's okay. I'm gonna pull this one down just a little bit. Down here. Just make it a little bit bigger. But this is really nice. Now, as you can see, there's almost nothing here on the table because most of it we already used. But I am going to uh, get my pot knife out and just use a little bit what's left in here because the next one we're going to add a little bit of silicone. So that's about it. And a little bit on here. There we go. Just looking to see if I can see something that is pretty. And if not, we're just going to swipe it. So we're going to swipe it. Clean off the palette knife, like I always teach you guys. And we're going to go straight over it. And around the side. And I'm showing you the difference there is, you know, when you swipe and there's no silicone in it. Because all you see is the little air bubbles popping. And there are no cells, there's no lace, because that doesn't happen if you don't have silicone. So that's for the people that are wondering, you know, who haven't seen a lot of my videos. Because some people just stumble upon my channel. And then, you know, because I have told you guys how to do stuff so many times, I'm thinking that everyone knows it, but that's not the case. But I'm just looking to see if I can see something that I really like. And I'm not liking it yet. So what I'd like to do is do something to it to make it a little bit more interesting. That is kind of interesting. <clears throat> Maybe just one more. Eh. Maybe do it like that. That is almost like marbling paper. Only we have the paint on the paper and then we marble. <laughs> it's totally different. Let's see if I got a little bit more paint left in here to do something on top. And because the uh, cup is almost empty, I have to do it really slow. Otherwise, I'll you know, break the uh, the ribbons because there's not that much paint more left over. Now let's see if we can make something out of this. I'm letting it pool in the middle and then I'm going to let it come back out. And that's going to disrupt the background pattern but it's going to make the uh, ribbons uh, broader as you can see. Now that is a that is a nice little bit. I sort of like what's going on here. Not sure if it's gonna fit in there. It won't fit in one of these. But it is pretty. If I had a little bit more paint. 
edges. Let me play with this a little bit more. Sometimes you have to force it. That's it. Here I need a little bit more. I'm gonna let it come up here and come down just so I have coverage over the uh, over the paper so then I can always decide if I want to frame this later on that's looking kind of cute and I'm gonna finish it off with tiny tiny little bit of glitter because I like that so much maybe a little bit more here that's it Okie dokie, people. This was the first video. Now, tomorrow, I have, I'm going to do a resin Sunday. So, tomorrow, it's all going to be about resin. Um, and I already showed you the little package I received from Artist Till Death. And um, that's kind of cool. And yesterday, I received another package from Leslie from Color Art. And I will show you the colors. Now this is these are new colors and they are meant for uh, in resin. This is Blue Moon. It is um, really blue. Um, then we have Aquamarine. We have Seagrass. We have Spiced Ginger. Uh, Golden Diamonds. Blushing Lily. And we have two colors I really like. This is Twilight Orchid, and this is Belize Blues. Now, I'm thinking of doing, um, I don't want to get it dirty though. Wait a minute, guys. I really need to get it off my paper here. Okay, put that on the ground just for a bit. So, let me get you in focus. No, oh, you're not really. Oh, yeah, there it is. So what I'm thinking of is doing the Blue Moon, the Orchid, the Belize Blues, Aquamarine, Seagrass. Mm. Do this one? Nah. This is pretty cool. Why is my light going crazy? Okay, so I'm going to do these five. Then I'm going to do one with these and maybe some uh, stone coat, the white stone coat, to make those cells. So, if you want to check them out, this is it, Resin Art, Luster Pigments. Here you have the website, www.colorart.com. This is it. And these are for in the resin, so don't mix them up with the ones I use for a transfer to make that beautiful glaze. That is um, something else. That's primary elements. So check out the website and see what she has because she has some amazing colors. They really pop. And tomorrow we're going to do a lot of resin work. Um, I'm going to do um, another uh, resin with Patty's Pigments. I just grabbed a few. So I'm going to do another one with Petty's Pigments. I'm going to do one with Color Art. And I'm going to do one with uh, the ones that I received from my friend Artist Till Death, Erica. And I've got to get them because otherwise you don't know what I'm talking about. These ones I'm going to do. See that? Color Obsession. So I'm going to give you guys a nice little um, um, performance of all these different pigments and colors. And of course we're going to put in some of the glitters and we're going to do all kinds of stuff. But it's going to be a really colorful day for all those people that are asking why I always do the same colors. Well, you can see all the beautiful colors. So we're going to do something different. So thanks guys for watching. I love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. Hopefully, you'll be and I will be right back.